Are you ready for my conference championship NFL predictions? You have come to the right place. I'm Professor MJ, a 15-year university professor of statistics who also recently made the front page of the newspaper. Last week, my free picks posted a 2-2 two two record against the spread, which was fine but nothing spectacular. Let's hope we get the sweep this week. The premium picks shared at mjpicks.com have generated a perfect 6-0 record on sides on totals during the playoffs, as you can see on your screen right now. In the AFC Championship game, the Ravens are 3.5 point favorites against the Chiefs. I won't make you wait any longer for my pick. I am taking Baltimore to beat the spread here. I am aware that this is a scary bet. Patrick Mahomes holds a 13-3 record in the playoffs and he's been in similar big games before, unlike Lamar Jackson. Moreover, did you know that Kansas City is 8-0-1 against the spread as road underdogs since Patrick Mahomes became their starting QB? Still, I prefer to put my money on the Ravens. Let me explain why. First of all, let's discuss the traveling factor. The Chiefs will be on the road for the third time in four weeks. Meanwhile, the Ravens will be at home for the fifth consecutive week, which is a huge difference. Baltimore also gets an extra day of rest since they played last Saturday. Since the 2008 season, teams who played on Saturday in the divisional round have presented a 17-13 record ATS. Let me continue the discussion in a few seconds. If there is one small area of weakness regarding Baltimore's defense, it is their run defense. However, KC's ground game has been inconsistent. Hard-charging Isaiah Pacheco is fun to watch, but he missed Wednesday's practice. He will be on the field for sure, but he looks a bit banged up. The Chiefs will be without left guard Joe Tooney, who suffered an injury in Buffalo last week. That won't help for sure. The Ravens' defense has been super stingy against the pass this season. I know the Chiefs' offense has looked better in recent times, but I'm afraid they could hit a wall. Outside of rookie Rashi Rice, their wide receivers are not scaring anyone. Travis Kelsey is one of the guys who fared much better lately, but safety Kyle Hamilton could do a good job of slowing him down. In fact, Baltimore surrendered just 3 TDs to tight ends this year. Mahomes has not been sacked a single time in the postseason thus far. That streak is very likely to end against Baltimore, who recorded the most sacks in the NFL. And it's not like you could double-team one guy, since they had three players with nine-plus sacks in the regular season. You never know where the pressure will come from. I don't believe the Chiefs' defense matches up very well against the Ravens. They were great defending the pass, but they are susceptible to allowing many yards on the ground. Last week, the Bills carried the ball 39 times, which yielded a total of 182 rushing yards. Good luck defending Baltimore's strong running game. Mahomes is 3-1 in his career against Lamar Jackson, the only loss occurring in the last meeting. In that game, the Ravens trailed 35-24 through three quarters, before Lamar scored a couple of rushing TDs in the fourth quarter to lead his team to a thrilling 36-35 victory. Not only do I feel like Baltimore will win again, but I expect the margin of victory to be over three points. So give me the Ravens minus three and a half points. The Lions vs 49ers game should be very entertaining with a lot of points scored. Which side do I prefer from a betting perspective? This time I'm backing the underdog by grabbing Detroit 
plus 7.5 points. To me, this game won't be a walk in the park for the Niners. Everyone is talking about how Detroit's defense will get demolished. I'm not so sure things would be that bad. First, they have definitely showed signs of improvement lately. During their past six games, they have not allowed more than 24 points in any of those matches. Secondly, I thought Brock Purdy looked a bit shaky last week against the Packers. He was not bad, but he was not super impressive either. Meanwhile, Jared Goff has more experience, and he is used to playing at Levi's Stadium from his time as a LA Ram. He holds a 3-6 career record against San Francisco, but he has tossed at least two TD passes in each of his last four meetings. The Lions are 21-10 against the spread as underdogs since Dan Campbell took over as their head coach. He is a great motivator and a savvy risk taker. I like his approach to the game. I've got more arguments supporting this pick after this very quick break. In my mind, the one thing that will help Detroit cover the spread is their running game. Many people talk about San Francisco's defense as if it was invincible, but they are not as great as most people think. During the regular season, they finished 14th in terms of rushing yards allowed per carry. Last week, Aaron Jones rushed the ball 18 times for 108 yards. Can you imagine what David Montgomery and Jameer Gibbs can do? The Niners got 3 wins and 4 losses in games where they gave up more than 100 rushing yards this season. I am pretty sure the Lions will exceed that threshold, so I find it hard to imagine they're going to lose by a margin of 8 points or more. Even San Francisco's secondary is a source of concern, and the Lions have the weapons to make them pay with Amon Ross St. Brown and Sam Laporta leading the way. Christian McCaffrey is obviously a superstar. The Lions might be able to slow him down since they were very stingy against the run. Also, did you notice how McCaffrey kept receiving treatments on the sidelines last week? He does not look 100%. At the time I recorded this video, the status of Debo Samuel was still up in the air. He suffered a shoulder injury against Green Bay last week, so it's not clear whether he will be suiting up or not on Sunday. He missed two games this season and the Niners lost both of them. So in the end, I am backing the Lions plus 7.5 points and I like this bet even more if Debo misses the game. In that case, that might even become one of my premium picks. We'll see how things go until kickoff. Hey, I've got super exciting news for you. I am organizing for the first time ever the Super Bowl Bookie Crushers Virtual Summit, an online conference where more than 10 betting experts will share their top pick for the Super Bowl for you. Their favorite bet could be on the spread, totals, or any prop bet. And the icing on the cake is the fact that this online event is completely free. You cannot sign up now because I'm not finished yet setting up the web pages, but that will come by Monday at the latest. When ready, I will post the link below as a pinned comment, so you can check back later. I'm also going to promote it in videos I'm going to release next week, but I wanted to give you a heads up. Don't miss out this great opportunity to get access to solid Super Bowl wagers for free. I'm Professor MJ. It is always a pleasure to serve you. I'm looking forward to speak to you again very soon.